Good day, everybody. So does cooked food kill you, and are we enzyme deficient? Well, according to DTM, the life regenerator, Dan McDonald, that would be the case. He did a video a few days ago with uh, Dave Gaynor, who's the nephew of Lou Corona, and basically what they were saying in this video that all cooked food, whether it's the standard American diet, um, whether it's deep fried or steamed rice and vegetables, all cooked food is basically um, death. And by eating it, you're causing your body to use up uh, or overwork the enzymes. I'm not co quite sure exactly how they described it, but basically you're causing an enzyme deficiency. And in fact, if you were born of parents who ate cooked food, you were probably, you are probably, you were born with enzyme deficiencies. And, um, you know, there's two ideas going on here. One, that we need to eat raw foods for the enzymes in those foods to help us out with digestion and uh, so that we don't use up our limited supply of enzymes. And the truth of the matter is, is the enzymes in raw foods are more for the foods themselves, not to help us in aiding digestion. And the other reality is, is that even when we eat raw living foods, by the time those foods reach the lower part of our stomach, um, they, they, whatever live enzymes are in those foods are killed off and um, just don't, they're not helpful in the digestive process. We have our own enzymes that do that for us. And if it is true that eating cooked food leads to disease and premature death, then how does Dan McDonald explain the Okanagans? Of Japan who um, their traditional diet which is mostly plant-based but is also mostly cooked and yet you have a healthy people that don't get the diseases that we suffer here in the West and they live to be very old like up to a hundred years old and, and beyond how does Dan and Dave Gaynor explain that they're eating mostly cooked food the majority of the food they eat, they cook it. If it were true that cooking food creates enzyme deficiency, then you would you would think that all their children, for one thing, would be born ill, and it would be a very unhealthy civilization. And yet, we know that the opposite is true. And this is also the case with many other healthy civilizations that have been observed throughout the world. All of them, to some degree, eat cooked food, and they don't take enzyme supplements. So, um, and that's what Dan and, and Dave Gaynor and Lou Corona and the, the, the whole gang there, this is what they're really promoting, is they want to convince you that even if you're eating 100% raw, you need to take these uh, enzyme supplements to really bring your health to the next level and to heal your body of disease. Um, there's just no, no basis for this. There's no scientific basis for this whatsoever. The only case where I would say en enzyme supplementation is necessary is people that are born with, with certain genetic defects that, um, which as a result, they're unable to produce uh, digestive enzymes to break down foods. I knew of a person like that, and he had to take a number of enzyme pills with every meal. But for the rest of us, it, we're fine. And eating cooked food is fine. We can digest that no problem at all. So what is really the issue with disease and premature death? It's diet and lifestyle. If you're eating a high level of um, meat and dairy and processed foods and you're not exercising and you're not getting good sleep and you're living a stressful life, that's going to promote sickness. 
And the way to remedy, remedy that is to change your lifestyle. Um, and to begin with eating, I strongly recommend that you go with a low-fat vegan diet. It's really that simple. So reduce the amount of fat that you're eating, eliminate the animal products, and introduce fresh fruits and vegetables and starches. And starches, what I mean by that is like rice and potatoes and some pasta. Um, and with that, with a nice balance of those three foods, included with uh, physical activity, which doesn't have to be strenuous, it can be something as simple as a brisk walk, and uh, getting adequate rest, you're, you're going to see significant health improvements. And that can include healing of diseases, that can include um, weight loss. And it's really that simple. Don't go down this path that, that Dan and Dave is trying to convince people that they, everybody needs to do. And in fact, you know, the, the, the problem with the whole uh, enzyme supplementation, it doesn't, it's, it's not a matter of taking one pill a day or one pill with every meal. Dan even boasts of taking 30 to 40 pills in one go with an orange juice. So, you know, what are we looking at? 20 pills with every meal? We're talking about, you know, for every bottle, about between 40 and 50 bucks for 120 pills. You can see how this could become an extremely expensive habit. And there's no exit strategy. There, it's not like a one week therapy or a one month therapy or even a one year. This is something that you'll be doing for the rest of your, of your life. So, um, and then, you know, Dan also talks about, it's not just the enzymes, it's also, yes, eating 100% raw, which is fine if, if you want to do that, um, but also fasting and juicing and colonics and also the probiotics. So, you know, this is the path that you will end up going down if you take the advice of Dan McDonald. If you want to go there, that's fine. I think it's a mistake. I don't think it's necessary. In fact, I think it can be dangerous. What you want to do is just change your lifestyle from an unhealthy lifestyle to a healthy one. And you can do that through low-fat vegan. Take care.